Hi, I'm Sarah from Subbot Guide, and today I'm out at the Bexhill Quarry in New South Wales, Australia. I'm going to be reviewing the Gilly Air, and we'll be going over everything you need to know, which includes accessories, performance, and quality of the board. So let's get into it. Okay, let's go into the accessories. So you get the full deal when you purchase the Gilead. That includes your pump, paddle, ankle leash, repair kit, and of course your bag to put it all in. To start off, just talk about the pump. So this is a dual action, high pressure pump. I have to say, I was very impressed to get this kind of a pump in the package because normally at this price range, you only get single action pumps. Now, outside of this, the only thing that you can get that's a little bit better is the dual chamber pumps. Uh, only a few companies are doing them. Uh, Red Paddle Co. were the first ones who bought their Titan out. And since then, we've seen uh, iRocker also start to adapt to them. Um, otherwise, you can get an electric pump too. But for really, for what, how much this board is and how good of a pump this is, it's an extremely good value. So, to get going on the water, you might need a paddle. Uh, as you can see through the blade, there's a nice dihedral shape. This is good for your propulsion. It's an aluminium shaft, which is a little heavier than the fiberglass paddles you get in mid-range boards. But this paddle is definitely good enough to get you going. Your anchor leash is color coded, much like the blade on your paddle. Now, as you can see, it's coiled. A coiled leash is great for two things. Uh, the first thing, is that it doesn't fall off the board so easy like this uh, straight leashes do. Uh, that's great because sometimes if they're falling off they can get caught in reeds uh, as well as it can produce a little bit of drag. Uh, the second thing is that the coil helps prevent harsh snapbacks if you do happen to fall off your board. Now if there's one thing I'd like to say that I would like to see improved is that there is no slash spot for your keys in the ankle. Maybe this is something that they can put in next year. You'll get to fin. But in all seriousness, you do get your center fin. This is a single fin board only. Um, but this does make it great for tracking. And it's an easy snap lock fin. It's easily inserted and also quite hard to lose. The plastic is quite tough as well. I found that uh, running up against a little bit of a shallow bank or anything like that, it's been okay. Now, where would you be without a bag to put all of these wonderful things in? So the bag that you get, I really like the design. Uh, I really like the colors and I like the pattern on the front. I think it looks really cool. And the back of it as well, the straps, they're extremely padded and there's a lot of support throughout. Again, in comparison to other bags in this uh, price range, I have to say this is one of the best bags I've seen. And many of the other bags, they fall apart quite easily. The zippers don't work that great. The materials are quite thin. There's no, none of that padding that you see on the ghillie bag. Uh, if there's one thing I would like to see as an improvement is inside. So inside the bag, there's no uh, cinching straps to hold your board in place. It just makes that a little bit easier to store your bag. So now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the manufacturing of this board. Uh, so it's a single layer PVC, which does make this board really light, uh, but also not as durable as other boards that are dual layered or triple layered or otherwise high end boards that are the fusion. And saying that though, looking at the seams and the way that the deck pad has been glued on, this does look like it's been put together with a bit more thought than many other boards in this price range. Now the seams are very flush, as well as there's no noticeable large bubbles under the material. This is something I have seen in the budget boards before, uh, and that is sort of normally a pretty good indication into the fact that the manufacturing has just been done in a quick, fast manner. Now talking of the deck pad, uh, it's quite thick and it's also extended slightly over the rails. And I really like that. Not only is it great for your slippery toes, it's also really nice for a, a casual siesta or some yoga activities. And you'll also notice that the handle in the middle of the board, it comes out and flattens down. So you do have a very comfortable deck space. All 
right, so I'm just going to go through the features on the board real quickly for you. Uh, up on the nose here, you have your first handle, which is really great for pulling the board in and out of the water. You've got your six D rings and the bungee cord threaded between them. This is a huge amount of space of storage for whatever you're going to take with you, uh, whether it's your jumper, water bottle, lunchbox, all those things. Um, the deck pad, which I talked about in the materials, extends slightly over the edges here, uh, as well as the second handle here, which does unfold, creating a nice flat space for yourself. But also your paddle can actually go in this. I just found that it didn't quite 100% secure over the paddle. Now heading down to the end here, you have your inflation valve. Your recommended PSI is 15. As this is a single layer board, I would recommend heavier riders going just that few extra PSI. Otherwise you might experience a little bit of flex. And finally, your last D-ring, which is there to attach your ankle leash. And finally, the performance. So this board is actually quite a lot of fun to paddle. Uh, the tracking is superb. And it also picks up speed quite easily. Uh, I think that's due to its lightweight nature. Both of these qualities aren't something that I actually expected to see in this kind of a budget board. Now the speed stability is also huge. It's got a very wide tail as well as a rounded nose and quite a wide body. This also makes the turning um, quite easy as far as doing back foot turns. Now it's not going to turn as sharp or tight as other boards say like the iRocker Cruiser that have a similar shape. That is only due to because it is just a single fin board. Overall, it has a really great performance for a board in this price range. So all in all, this board is a great option for beginners, families or someone who might need like a tender for their boat. At intermediates, I would recommend checking out different boards that have a little bit more versatility. Now, like I've said previously, this board is an amazing value for what you get. Uh, so much so that it actually got number one in our Cheap Sup article, which you can have a look at on our website, which is www.supboardguide.com. Uh, you can also find the full length review of the Gilly Air, as well as heaps of other boards and lots of other interesting information all about paddle boarding. So also please don't forget to subscribe below as well as like our Facebook page. Uh, you can keep up to date with all of our reviews as well as we have quite consistently have giveaways as well as discounts for you. So that's it for me today. I uh, hope you're all having fun out in the water and hope to see you soon. Yep, yep. Can I chuck a shuckers in there? Is that allowed? Shucker!